to talk about how to look at a table that's linear, that, that graphs to a straight line, and then write an equation for it in slope-intercept form. Remember slope-intercept form is in that form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. And remember that y-intercept happens, you know, it crosses the y when x equals 0, right? And all these points x equals 0, because it has no left-right motion, right? x controls left-right. When x is 0, you have to have a y-intercept. So we'll need to know the slope. And we'll either look up the y-intercept if it's visible, or we'll figure out where it's at. So let's go ahead and dig on into this. So slope, as I know, is change in y over change in x. So I'm going to look at this table. So x is going plus 1 each time. And y, that looks like it's going down 5. Yeah, and it just keeps doing that. So my change in y, here's y, is negative 5. My change in x is 1. So my slope must be negative 5. And then I can also look, and I know the y-intercept happens when x is 0. I look, it's right here on the table. So the y-intercept is 8 in this case. So b must be 8. So my equation for this must be y equals negative 5x plus 8. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Uh, this is going up by 3. That's my change in x. My change in y, it looks like it's 2. Okay, so my slope, change in y over change in x is 2 thirds. So I know I've got that. And now it's plus some b. Now two different ways we could go about looking at this. We could try and, and walk this x backwards to get to x is 0, right? So like if it's going plus 3, um, if I go back 3, that would push me to 0. This is going plus 2, so if I go back 2, this pushes me to 2. So there's my, my y-intercept at 2. So I can do that. Sometimes that won't work for you, um, you know, or it's, or it's more work than it's worth. So we know this. What we can do is we can take any of these points, plug it in, and solve for b. So let's just take the point 3, 4. When y is 4, x is 3. 2 thirds times 3 is 2. Subtract 2 from both sides. B is 2, and we've got it there. A couple ways to do it.